We are here to present this uh, petition to RTE, a change.org petition, uh, calling on RTE, please break your silence on Palestine. We have 10,000 signatures collected exclusively on Facebook and Twitter over two months. Uh, some 8,000 of these signatures are from Irish people who are licensed pairs to this public broadcasting system. So we are asking them to break their silence. We are also asking when they report on Palestine to present a little bit of context to present it in balance, not to allow Israeli spokespersons to get away scot-free, that kind of thing. I mean, we're here to offer our cooperation and not, not confrontation, so we hope it'll be a friendly meeting. That's why we're here, and uh, me as a Palestinian, to, uh, to explain how the Palestinian community here in Ireland feel, how their voices are marginalized and um, uh, rarely heard in the news or uh, for the whole coverage of them things happening in uh, Palestine in general. Well, it was all very friendly. We met uh, Kevin Backhurst, who is the assistant uh, DG, director general, and also head of news in there. He was very friendly. We were very friendly. Um, he disagreed with our assessment that uh, the uh, coverage was unbalanced, uh, that the Palestinian voice didn't get heard. He disagreed with me that the Palestinian yes, were, I mean, voices were marginalized. The Palestinian stated that from her considerable experience, inside experience, Palestinian voices were marginalized. He didn't agree with that. He said that he has regular contact with both ambassadors, the Israeli and the Palestinian, and that he doesn't give more weight to one and the other. Uh, you know, we. We're permitted to be a bit skeptical about that. Uh, he took our points on board um, about context, uh, about the fact that news is uh, something new and something that's been going on all the time. In other words, the daily persecution of the Palestinians isn't new, so that it doesn't get reported all the time. So when I said, but then, you know, if one Israeli child is hit by a stray bullet, suddenly that's news. Uh, and people then get the completely false perspective that this is the only thing that is happening, and he agreed with that. Mm. Uh, so uh, mm. it was, yeah. yeah. Then we offered our uh, services, like yes, the uh, media team, and how they can be uh, cooperative with the RTE. Yeah, and he said, fine, that we should provide RTE with all the names mm. of uh, the requisite relevant people, and he also suggested that we make good use of the complaint facility that every time there was something uh, we didn't uh, agree with that we should uh, contribute um, carefully worded complaints, which we said we do anyway. Uh, so essentially that's where it was. No great surprises.